Does your fire department respond into areas without a municipal water supply system? Do you often struggle with how you're going to deliver water from your tankers to the fire scene in an efficient way? In this episode, we're going to cover a concept called the rural hitch. This is going to make you more successful and be more efficient on the rural fire ground. A rumble! Alright, so what we have here, we're in a rural area. The, the fire company's initiating the rural hitch. So what that is, is there's a clapboard Siamese laying on the side of the road. The engine company laid line up the driveway to a structure fire that's going on down the road. Second arriving pieces were two different tankers. So those tankers arrived, they hooked into the rural hitch initially with smaller size hose, three inch or medium diameter supply line. They started offloading their water once they got the dump site tanks in place, Engine 12 came in, set up a draft off their front inlet, and they're now supplying the fire scene off the dump tank operation through the LDH into the Concord Siamese. A very seamless transition from tankers or a nurse operation to a full-blown dump site operation. When the tanker vehicle arrives at the fire scene, firefighters must have a quick and efficient way to offload that water to the fire engine that is actually doing fire attack. This process traditionally was known as a nurse operation. Today we're gonna to focus on something that's a little more advanced called the rural hitch. While some people might just call this a glorified nurse operation, the rural hitch gives us the ability to offload that water quickly, efficiently, and to expand that to a more larger scale operation if the need arises. This task can be done with minimal equipment and minimal personnel, making the operation be streamlined and a lot more efficient and faster getting water downrange to the fire scene. The primary piece of equipment used in the rural hitch is a jumbo clappered Siamese. The jumbo clappered Siamese is a piece of equipment that can be deployed with minimal human intervention to allow the companies to pump water from their tanker to the engine company that's downrange fighting the fire. As the first arriving engine company approaches the fire scene, at the entrance to the property or the driveway leading back to where the fire is located, the engine will stop pulling out a section or two of their supply hose and also the clappered Siamese appliance, leaving it at the entrance to the property where the engine will then proceed laying line into the fire scene where they're going to set up their operations. The first arriving tanker company to get on scene will take a piece of three inch hose from a suitable discharge on the outlet of the pump and clip it into one side of the clappered Siamese. Once the engine that is receiving the water on the end of the supply line is ready to receive that, the tanker company will be notified and they can begin to offload their water through this three inch line. This task can easily be accomplished with one firefighter with minimal hand movements to get the line in service. When the second arriving tanker arrives on scene, the first thing they need to do is to check in with the first arriving tanker to see what the water level is in their tank. If that tanker is starting to run low, we immediately want to get another section of three inch hose spaced away from the first tanker, at least an additional 100 feet away to leave ample room for the tankers to come in and out of the dump site location. That hose will also be connected to the discharge of the second arriving tanker, awaiting the need to offload that water to the fire scene. As the first tanker starts to be to its lowest point or is emptied, the second arriving tanker starts to throttle up their discharge and feed water into their three inch line and a seamless transition will take place from tanker one's water to tanker two's water. Tanker one now has been depleted, the water is out of the tanker, they disconnect their connection and move on to go back to the fill site. While this is happening, as personnel become available, we also begin to offload some vital equipment. That equipment would include a folding frame tank, sections of suction hose, low level strainers, and any other appliances and adapters that may be needed to get a dump site built out. The initial clappered Siamese setup or rural hitch setup utilizing the three inch hose allows us to have a 500 to 600 gallon a minute flow rate uninterrupted to the fire scene as long as those tankers continue to come in. Building out a full-scale dump site as the fire may increase or the demand increases will require some additional personnel and an additional engine at that dump site location to set this scenario up. While the rural hitch might just appear to be an advanced nursing operation, 
The rural hitch by design and using a jumbo clappered Siamese provides us the opportunity to expand from a five to 600 gallon a minute fire flow to a much higher flow rate, upwards of 1,000 to 1,500 gallons a minute easily. The way this is accomplished, while the rural hitch is in operation and a traditional pumping off set setup is going in, is in place, as the tanker companies arrive and more personnel arrive on scene, the crews will now build out what we like to refer to as a dump site. The dump site is comprised of folding frame tanks, suction hose, low level strainers, and transfer devices. Once one tank is set down on the ground and a source pumper or the dump site pumper is now there, the dump site pumper prepares itself to draft from that first drop tank. Once all those pieces and parts are in place, the next arriving tanker that's not already hooked into the clappered Siamese will begin to dump their water. The last tanker that's hooked in as they pull away, that open side of the clappered Siamese can now be utilized to connect large diameter hose from the large diameter discharge of the pumper at the dump site to that side of the clappered Siamese. The next arriving tanker will now offload their water through the dump chute system on the rear or the sides of the apparatus. The drop tank on scene will now be filled and the dump site pump operator will pull a prime and start to feed the, the LDH line that feeds the clappered Siamese. At this point, as crews and again people become available, the next stage is to put a secondary pond down. The reason we do that is so we can have a higher accumulation or a, a broader volume of water available to us at the fire scene. The second pond will go down and it's key now to put a drafting tube or a transfer tube from the secondary pond into the first pond. As the dump site operation is up and running, the additional piece of three inch hose that is no longer being utilized should still stay in play. There are different manufacturers out there that will make a, a tank bracket or a means of connecting smaller two and a half inch coupled hose to a bracket that can attach to the tank. Take that section of hose, 150 feet, whatever it may be, and stretch it away from the tank that is being loaded off with the tankers. The reason we do this is that in the event that a tanker comes to the dump site and one of their dump chutes becomes inoperable due to mechanical failure, maybe freezing in cold weather conditions, that tanker is not out of play. That tanker can still hook into that piece of hose and offload their water manually instead of through the dump chutes to allow to utilize however many gallons of water are available on that piece of equipment. One more advantage of utilizing the rural hitch and the jumbo clappered Siamese is that as the fire incident starts to decline, meaning the fire has been brought under control and not as many resources are needed on the fire ground, the same way we built the system from a, a small flow event at that five to 600 gallons a minute and upward, we can start to de-escalate that fill site, breaking down the frame tanks, possibly even taking the dump site engine out of play, get those companies secured and get them back to their headquarters where we can just go back to the traditional rural hitch utilizing what we like to call or people call the nursing operation. In closing, the most important part of any of these situations that we get put into as rural firefighters, training and working with our mutual aid partners is critical. We need to be sure that everyone is operating on the same page, utilizing the same techniques and working together for success for the suppression of fires in a rural fire ground. Thank you for watching. The selection of three inch hose is deliberate. One of the reasons three inch hose works more efficiently for the initial operations of a rural hitch are multiple reasons. Number one, most rural fire apparatus have a single tank to pump plumbing valve. That tank to pump valve at about three inches in diameter can actually only offload from the gravity feed of the tank five to 600 gallons a minute. Three inch hose is more than capable of delivering those flow rates. Number two, the three inch hose traditionally will connect to a two and a half inch NH or national hose coupling outlet on the pump. That connection is present on both sides of the apparatus. So if the tanker approaches and the fire ground operation is on the officer side of the truck, 
There's a two and a half inch connection there. Likewise, on the driver's side of the truck, there will also be two and a half inch connections. One of the reasons that we advocate the two and a half inch coupled hose versus initially going with five inch LDH or a four inch LDH hose is that number one, that hose is a lot heavier and harder to manipulate. And also on most modern fire apparatus, the presence of a LDH discharge is not permitted on the driver's side, possibly endangering the pump operator by having such a large hose line where they're gonna be operating from. The three inch hose is much easier to deploy. It's easy to put on either side of the vehicle and it's sufficiently sized to accommodate the flows of the initial rural hitch operation.